I'm Dr. George Rappard, Director of the Los Angeles Minimally Invasive Spine Institute. Thank you for checking out our website, and thank you for coming here to learn more about endoscopic discectomy. You probably came here because you're like many Americans that suffer from back pain and sciatica. You might be part of the 10% whose pain never gets better, or you might be one of the 50% whose pain goes away only to come back, sometimes with a vengeance. Back pain and sciatica is a big problem in the United States. It now accounts for the leading cause of disability in this country. So if you suffer from back pain or you know somebody that does, I'd like to answer some of your important questions about endoscopic discectomy. Let's go ahead and get started. First of all, just exactly what is an endoscopic discectomy? Well, an endoscopic discectomy is an ultra-minimally invasive form of a surgery that's actually been around for quite some time and has proven to be effective for the treatment of back pain from herniated disc. An endoscopic discectomy uses a small tube. This is an actual sized tube that I use for surgery commonly. It's about seven millimeters in size. This tube is inserted through a small skin incision, usually about the size of the nail on my pinky. That tube then slides easily through the muscles of the back, slipping through the bones of the spine to enter the disc where the herniation usually occurs. Through the seven millimeter tube, we place a second tube called an endoscope. There's a lens on one side and a high resolution, high definition camera on the other. We place surgical micro instruments through that tube and perform surgery while the surgeon watches the entire thing on the screen. The fact that the surgery is performed through this camera makes it endoscopic. And that's what endoscopic discectomy is. Second question we get a lot is, is endoscopic discectomy the same thing as laser spine surgery? Well, laser is a tool and it's just one of the tools used in surgery, whether you're performing an open conventional operation or an endoscopic operation. I occasionally use a laser at surgery, although these days, more advanced precise methods of delivering energy to remove a herniated disc are available. So just what is recovery like after an endoscopic discectomy? Well, you will go home the day of surgery. I usually advise patients to rest for the day. Starting on the day after surgery, you can start to shower and you can get up and walk around as tolerated, but we want you to avoid strenuous physical activity. I'll see you two days after surgery for a routine checkup and then at two weeks. I usually advise patients to take one to two weeks off of work, depending on whether or not your job is physically strenuous. Many patients want to go back to work before two weeks. I hope that we've answered your questions about endoscopic discectomy for treatment of back pain and sciatica. If you want to know more, give us a call at 323-857-5300. Email us at info at lamisinstitute.com or contact us through our website, www.laspinecare.com. Thank you for listening, and thank you for visiting us today.